Welcome to my tutorial on Dropbox, a great cloud computing tool to help make your life easier for sharing files and collecting and organizing student work. What is Dropbox? Dropbox is a cloud-based storage system and what it does is it allows you to put a single folder with other folders inside it on any device that you have. That includes a laptop, a desktop, an iPod, an Android, and also on the internet in the cloud. And you can access files wherever you are. And it allows you to share your files easily with anybody else. So to begin, go to Dropbox.com. Now, they made a phenomenal video. So I would suggest to get familiar with the basics, just click watch the video and just go through the steps. When you're ready, just go through and click and create an account. It's as simple as putting in your email address and following the directions. Once you've done that, you're ready to log on. So let's take a look at some of the functions that Dropbox does. Let's begin by logging on. Just put in your email address. And right now we're going to go into the internet version of my Dropbox folder. Now you see, here's all the files and folders that I have in my Dropbox. And you see I'm getting pretty full. I'm 91.4% full. And if you look, I have 3 gigabytes. So for free, you get 2 gigabytes. And then every person that shares with you and joins Dropbox because of you, you get an additional amount of storage for free. Of course, you can always purchase more storage if you have larger files or a lot of files that you want to share. So let's look at where else I have Dropbox. If I look up here, this little folder in my menu, open my Dropbox folder, you'll see here's my Dropbox folder, but this time it's on my computer. So I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to put pics to share with photography class. I'm just going to drag that into my Dropbox folder. Now you see this little icon that was blue there that was syncing, and now it's there. Let's go back to the website. I'm going to refresh my screen. And now you see instantly pics to share with my class. Now this folder is empty. Let's take my photos and I'll drag that into there. Now it's syncing a little bit. You can also see on the menu bar a little animation that shows that it's syncing. And you could see it gives you an estimate of how much longer it's going to take to sync that file. And what it's doing is it's sending it over to the internet to the Dropbox folders online on their servers so that you can get your Dropbox files wherever you are. It's also a great tool because lots of applications, um, Android apps, iPad apps, iPod apps, use Dropbox as an intermediate place to share and store files between apps. But let's say you're at a presentation and you only have your iPad you can jump onto your Dropbox and get any files that you need. So let's go back and look. Refresh on the internet and here's my file. I want to take a quick look at how we can use this for student portfolios. If we go down here, here's a class portfolio. And you can see here's four of my classes. Students and here's some of their files. Now let's say I want to share this with this student's father. So I'm going to go to the drop down, invite to folder, and I'll put their email address and a little message. Mr. Faulkner, here is your student's work for the first marking period. And I'm going to click share folder. 
and you're going to see we get a notification up top. This is called a growl notification. And what's great about this is when you're on your computer and Keon's father joins the folder, you're going to know when he joins it. So let's see what that looks like. Here, we're pretending this is Keon's father, and we see, click here, click view, and that's going to take me to the Dropbox folder, and here we are. So now I can take a look at my son's work. It's a pretty, pretty great tool. So this is just one of the functionalities of Dropbox. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you go and use it, and have fun sharing your files, sharing your student work, and just making your life really easy. But Dropbox isn't the only cloud-based storage tool out there. You can use programs like Boxy, you can use Google uh, Docs and Google Documents, um, you can use lots of other great tools on there. So just go out and search and have fun in your digital cloud world. Good luck.